this is a barnstorm training video on how to validate and lock your oasis effective january 1st 2020 cms will no longer offer their validation tool which means your process in barnstorm will change so the first way i'm going to show you is by using the iKeys portal there is a global setting um, your office will need to turn on in order to use this feature. So you're going to continue to use the same review and validate button. The difference is going to be the validation will no longer happen within Barnstorm. It's going to pull up a web page and it's going to pull up the iKeys portal for you to upload a document. So what you'll do is select the Oasis, then click on the Review and Validate button. If there are any invalid or blank answers, Barnstorm will pull up an error message. So after you have fixed your answers, you'll go back to the Oasis screen, select your Oasis again, and click on the Review and Validate button. This will pull up the iKeys portal. You'll need to accept and proceed with the security um, notice that they've given you. You'll click on the Validate Assessments button. From here, you'll need to browse to your C drive, your Barnstorm folder, and then your Office folder. You'll see at the very top there's an XML file named and Oasis to be validated. That will be the file that you're going to select to upload to the iKeys system. Each time you click on the review and validate button, it will replace this file. So if you're going to upload your file to iKeys, you need to do it right away as soon as you're done reviewing and validating your Oasis. Go ahead and double click on the XML. Once you upload your document, a record will generate showing you if the OASIS has been accepted or rejected. It will also give you any of the errors related to that OASIS file. From here, if it's an error that you do need to correct, you can go back to your OASIS, make the corrections, and then repeat the validation process. So now we are going to go back to the Barnstorm software and you'll see there's a message that popped up. If this Oasis validates with no errors, choose OK, otherwise click on Cancel. So if we click on OK, we are stating that we are ready to lock the Oasis and there are no errors. If we click on Cancel, it's going to not allow us to lock the Oasis just yet. So um, from here, if there are errors that you need to fix, you'll want to click on Cancel and then go into um, the OASIS per your agency's policy and fix your questions. If the OASIS is ready to be locked, you can click on OK. You'll notice that the Lock button becomes active. Go ahead and click on Lock. Next, we're going to show you how to validate your OASIS without using the iKey system. So I have turned the global setting off so that we are not going to use the iKey system. I'm going to select my OASIS and click on Review and Validate. If there are no invalid or blank answers, then the OASIS will automatically become locked. So you'll see that the lock button is no longer active or is not active and the unlock button is active. So it has already locked the OASIS. So that part is done right away for you. If Barnstorm did find an error or blank answers, then that error message box would pop up just as before.